Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the O2 London. We're live and exclusive on Sky Sports box office. Eddie Hearn and Haymaker Ringstar Promotions are very proud to bring you six three-minute rounds of heavyweight action. On the bell, our timekeeper, Stephen Bucci. Referee in charge, A-star referee from Watford, Mr. Bob Williams. And now introducing in the red corner, winning the white shorts with camouflage green on the scales at 17 stone, 13 pounds, one ounce. From 16 contests, 12 wins, six inside the distance, only four defeats. From Sheffield, the Steel City Assassin, David Howe. And in the blue corner, winning white with blue trim, official weight 18 stone, one pound four ounces. From 13 contests, 10 wins, seven inside the distance, only two defeats, one draw. From Connorsborough, Yorkshire, the White Rhino, David Allen. OK, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fight is standing. We'll go to the furthest shoot to a corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, boys. Great to have uh, David Allen back in action so quickly. The white rhino from Yorkshire who took out Lucas Ruzivic in pretty quick time on our Saturday fight night last weekend in Hull and now in with fellow Yorkshireman David Howell big lad at six foot eight but he is 36 12 years older than Allen who feels like this is his second professional fight even though it's fight number 14 Allen he believes He's coming again. It's been a strange start to his professional career because he's been matched hard. He's had a couple of defeats to Dylan White and Luis Ortiz. But people, Carl, believe he's got potential and a future in this heavyweight division, at least domestically. Definitely. He's got potential, that's for sure. He's shown that, and he's very much been thrown in the deep end. We've seen that as well. I mean, he really has been thrown in, but he enjoys it. He smiles through these hard fights, and... Um, he doesn't always get the win, but he looks more than capable of um, being in there with these top fighters. And, you know, he's a young man, so we don't know what the future holds for him. A great deal of bitterness between rivals on this uh, bill tonight, but these two are old mates. They know each other well. Al's been inactive, but he has been stopped a few times through his stop-start career. Now with Ryan Rhodes in that red corner. Having started with Howard Rainey and spent some time with the Ingalls as well. Well, Ryan Rhodes, I think, will add a bit of flair to his style. A bit of elusiveness, and he's just sitting back, boxing quite well here yep. on the back foot, using that range to his advantage. Yep, nice long reach. Allen trying to get close, covering up, but... How doesn't it overroad at the moment? Nice combination. That's it. They say alongside as Pac Allen comes. Could be quite lively, this. Probably will be. I mean, Dave Allen, he, he tends to march forward, taking shots he shouldn't really take just to get in range and get his shots off. And sometimes he's got one thing on the mind. And he's not really a concussive knockout puncher, so... He should box a little bit and move his head, bob and weave, roll and dip, target the body rather than just being upright and landing shots. But this is why we love to watch him. Nick rumbles forward, good right hand there from Allen. Gum shield out there. Yep, Bob Williams. Just sorting things out. Splattering of blood on the forehead of Allen. He's a character outside the ring, isn't he? Funny guy. <laughs> he is, yeah. He is very funny. I mean, if you didn't know him, you wouldn't know quite how to take him. But he loves his boxing. He's serious about it. Still young as well for a heavyweight. Good jab, though, from Howe, who's got the attributes, but has he got the confidence or the skill level to be able to deal with Allen tonight? So decent enough start this from Howe with the jab and the right hand. I think they'll be pretty pleased 
Ryan Rhodes in the corner with how he's uh, dealt with the first and opening stanza here in this heavyweight match. Welcome back to the magnificent O2 here in London. And look who's here. Somebody that normally sits alongside us on the safe side of the ropes. Paulie Malinaji, top broadcaster these days, still wants to be a top fighter. And what a night he's got coming up against Sam Eggington. There he was in his Sky Sports jacket. We can't be biased, though, tonight. <laughs> no, we can't. Well, a tough night he's got ahead of him with Sam Eggington. See how that one unfolds later. I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah, really good clash. The youngster from Birmingham who's making headlines. And this youngster from Coinsborough, just outside Doncaster, David Allen, trying to make a few of his own. Tough fights with Luis Ortiz and Dylan White, but he said they were good education. In tonight with David Howe, a former England volleyball international. Well, you can see the height. You can, yes. I don't know where that would help in the volleyball, but the height definitely helped. But I like, I like his boxing. He's, he's jabbing well. He's looking for that right hand. Dave Allen's just in front of him and taking shots, really. Um, I said earlier, I don't like to see fighters just take shots. They can Just a slight movement of the head, little bob and weave, little slip. So many shots whiz past you then. It's, it just prolongs your lifespan as a professional fighter. Dave Allen just needs to adapt that a bit. His high guard's quite good, but... He's looking for the big left hook there. Well, he's been uh, in with good opponents in sparring in Vladimir Klitschko, Tyson Fury, even Anthony Joshua. And he's been at gyms all around the world. He's only 24. What do we make of him? I know Eddie Hearn's got a soft spot for him and I uh, think they can do something. It is the time to be a heavyweight, no doubt about that. It is, yeah. If you can get in the mix with the big boys. Oh, and he's just up. battering Howe down. More exhaustion than anything else. I think there's a body shot in there, and suddenly he just looks like he's unravelling the well, big man. I think that body shot hurt him, Adam. It didn't look much, but if they sink and you don't see them coming. Yeah, the legs look wobbly as well, Carl. And there's plenty of time left in the second round. A right hand from Allen. He's going to go for this. And there's another one, and he's down again, How? And he may not get up from this. He's laid out in the second round. And it's going to be another stoppage win for the already celebrating David Allen. All over. And How is counted out. And the David Allen train rolls on and it's an interesting story nothing pretty about him nothing that technically amazing but he's obviously tough he's strong he's got a huge will and you know he could be a handful for a lot of fighters i think so i totally agree how was hurt there to the body went over i think the body shot hurt it more than what it looked alan saw something that we maybe didn't see and he just Went straight in with some big hooks. Accurate, hurtful-looking hooks, by the way. Let's have a look. There's a right hand there to the temple. They're hurtful shots out of range. I think it's made... Well, there's the body shot. And then bundled over. Maybe a combination of all three. Yeah, I think the head shot. Then the body shot really took the wind from his sails. And he's down there. And he's hurt. He's not down for the sake of being down. Here's the overhand looping right straight onto the temple. Same finish here. Different angle, you see that body shot go right in. Yeah, he did well, the right hand came up, he went for the body shot, doubled it up with a hook to the head. That was clever from Allen. And the resistance went fairly quickly. He has been stopped before, David Howe. 
I think the ambition was knocked out of him there. He didn't want any of it here. And these, these shots that didn't really land clean were still forceful. They bundled him over that shot there. And then the left hook didn't really land clean back of the head. But he didn't want any more there. But he boxed well in the first round. It, it was strange. Suddenly he was hurt and folded. That happens to some fighters. They, they're OK. They're in the fight. They're boxing. They're moving. But then all of a sudden they feel a hurtful shot. And the ambition's totally drained from them. Win number 11 for David Allen, the white rhino, and it'll be fun to watch the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes and 24 seconds of round number two, referee Bob Williams reaches the count of 10. The winner by count out, the white rhino, David Allen. So, David Allen winning and please, the and Battle of Yorkshire at heavyweight on this heavyweight night.